Hi guys, Charlie with Boxing Focus. Um, it's inevitable with a fight of this magnitude that every tiny detail is blown massively out of proportion. Uh, it's, it's quite amusing for me to watch the online reaction to this press conference and how overboard a lot of people are going on certain things. It seems a tremendous number of people are... Uh, they, they think that Mayweather looked incredibly nervous and... and uh, they took that as a sign that he's scared of, uh, of Pacquiao and, and thinks that he's going to lose. May Mayweather is a supremely confident boxer. He, I mean, this guy is undefeated as a professional. I think he recognises that Pacquiao's a challenge, but do not for one second think that he's second-guessing himself. He thinks he's going to win. He thinks that if he works hard enough and he does the right things, that he will win the fight. He's not... <laughs> This isn't this isn't some young up and comer who's who's facing a stern test. This is the this is a guy who's been you know number one in the power for power rankings for the better part of a, you know, well well over a decade. Anyway, that being said, that being said, there were some definite insecurities on display. Uh, I mean, the first thing that I noticed when I turned on was the number of empty seats. And the only press with that. And then it turns out it was a press only event. Why would it be a press only event? Well, the answer's obvious. Uh, with Mayweather promotions calling the shots, more or less. The fans would have turned out in support for Pacquiao. Um, Mayweather did not want to be booed at the press conference. It's plain and simple. They, <laughs> you don't want to announce the fight to the world. And this is, you know, this is really the, the proper announcement. This is where, where uh, obviously, it had been agreed and signed off before now but this is the point where uh, they, they show the public face to the world the PR as it were he did not want it to start with uh, him being cast as the villain and he's, he's and he's still still trying to string together narratives to, to, to make it look like he's the one that wanted the fight to make it look like yeah he's the one who, who is to be trusted on this issue and, and I mean it's, it's laughable even I mean he still he still has a, a stooge stand on stage and bring up you know, performance enhancing drugs he still has you know in his interview he, he, he you know he talked about drug, you know blood and urine testing as if Pacquiao refused Pacquiao never refused urine testing come on you take it you take an absolute piss pun intended <laughs> I mean so, and and he never refused blood testing. This is just one of these myths. He he didn't want to give blood like two three, two weeks or nineteen days, whatever, before the fight. But he was happy to give blood up until that point at any time randomly and immediately after the fight randomly. So you're talking about a two two and a half week window from which he could somehow magically benefit from from some incredible drug. I mean, come on, including a cycling off of it. But still, no, Mayweather's still pushing this. Five years after this, this issue was buried in terms of the negoti you know, the actual negotiation. But we can really, I mean, there's, a, there's an interesting thing on, on Pacquiao's Instagram. I'll post it in the description of the first comment or whatever. Um, he posted a picture of the contract signed by himself and Bob Aaron saying, no, nope, we weren't lying. We had signed the contract. So basically Mayweather sat on the contract for several weeks. Strung stories from his uh, you know, his beach in and wherever he was on holiday and, and led the world on a merry dance saying nothing had been signed when actually it was just literally waiting for his signature, which is why both guys started training early. You know, this thing was done and dusted a while ago. I tend to believe even the, the, the whole Miami Heat thing, the whole basketball game, was, well, basketball encounter rather, was staged. You know, staged by who is another question. I, you know, not entirely clear whether Mayweather was in on it or whether he was just dropped in on it. Um, but, you know, I just... He's, he's going to spend almost the entire build-up trying to control... The public perception of you know try, trying to maintain his image or build his image up. He does not want to be seen as the villain in this fight. He does not want to be seen as the guy that did not want the fight. 
he does not want to be seen as the guy that, that, that was the impediment to the fight actually taking place up until the pressure became so much that he more or less had no option. Um, which uh, is absolutely, well, I say absolutely, is almost nothing to do with what's going to transpire on, on fight night, but it's just interesting to me how insecure he is about the whole thing, the whole situation. Meanwhile, Pacquiao was just there grinning and just didn't really care. <laughs> Although Pacquiao was nervous as well. I mean, they're, they're talking, yeah, you talk about nerves. You, you, doing something that, you know, a carefully stage manage event that's going to go out to billions of people. They didn't want to, um, to mess up. Pacquiao gave some story about God and no other rather uninspiringly rattled off uh, <laughs> whatever whatever story he wanted to tell and Bob Aaron gave uh, Bob Aaron, Bob Aaron's thing was, was uh, quite funny it was quite funny but uh, it was a bit like a, a granddad telling a tale but he is 80 so you know he, he gets a pass on that from me at least probably not from everybody else this is Charlie Box in Focus uh, what did you think of the press conference I mean for me it was all a bit of an anticlimax um no, it doesn't have that much bearing on the fight anyway. This is Charlie with Boxing Focus.